In this video, we're going to be covering the administrative interface. The administrative interface can be accessed by clicking the button in the top left corner on the ribbon. Also along the ribbon, you can access your own personal files, your user settings, you can download the client applications, and you can log out of the system. The administrative interface is organized with views across the top and organizations across the left-hand side. You can jump to an organization by either clicking the drop-down in the Jump to Dashboard section, or you can click the organization itself on the left-hand side. Each view gives you different information about the organization that you have selected. Selecting an organization will also include information about its children in the views. For example, the Dashboard view allows you to see an overview of common sense gadgets and common sense information in the system. Because I have default organization selected and Group A and Organization A are sub-organizations of default organization, this dashboard is going to show aggregate information for its children as well as the default organization. On the dashboard view, I can see an overview of storage usage, counts of the entities in the system, recent activity, space usage by organization, including my children, bandwidth usage over time, space usage by extension, recently triggered alerts from our alerting system, space usage over time, top storage users, and top bandwidth machines. You'll be able to generate reports on these in the reports section, which we'll cover in just a minute. From the accounts view, you'll be able to see all of the accounts on the system. Counts are users. By clicking the drop-down arrow next to an account, you'll be able to see the machines that are registered to that particular user. For example, org admin has a machine registered to it. From this dashboard, you can create users, you can send messages to users, you can filter by type of user, and then you can also see how much space each user has used the last time they've logged in via the web, and you can unlink particular machines that belong to that user. From the machines view, you can see all of the machines that have been registered for that organization. This is an inverse of the accounts view in that clicking the drop-down arrow next to a machine shows you all of the users that are registered on that machine. In this case, just one. From this view, you can also throttle bandwidth for a particular machine or enable mapping in case you decide to do file server enablement. From the shares view, you can see all of the different team shares that have been created for that organization. You can even go in and see which users are associated with that particular team share. And you can delete a team share if you wish. From the backups view, you can create new backups for any user and their machines on that organization. For example, I have a backup here for org admin on this particular machine, and this is the path that has been selected for backup. From here, I can view the files of that backup, I can restore that backup, or I can delete it altogether. If you go to create a new backup, you'll see a listing of the machines that are associated with that organization, and you can choose a new folder to backup. From the Activity tab, you can see all system activity. This includes accounts created, team shares added, passwords changed, username changes, and so on. You can scope these by date, or by the entity that was associated with that particular activity. From this view, you can also create alerts. Alerts allow you to basically be notified when any activity within the system is triggered, including whether users have reached a certain percentage of quota, whether files are permanently deleted, whether an organization is added, and so on. You can then push these alerts via email, text message, PSA, or otherwise. From the Reports tab, I can create a new report that will allow me to use any of the information from the dashboard and a specified date range. For example, I may want to be notified on a recurring basis how my storage consumption over time is looking. I can set the recipients here, and I can even set a recurrence if I'd like. The Settings tab allows you to see the settings for that particular organization. Subtabs or subviews are general policies, email authentication, PSA, branding, and the ability to delete that organization. From the general tab, you can set a contact email and set a custom host name if you wish. 
The Policies tab is where you decide what kinds of files can be uploaded for that organization or group, what privileges the users have, how often you clear out deleted files and revisions, and more. You can set up a custom email server from the Email tab. You can integrate with Active Directory or another LDAP source from the Authentication tab. From the PSA, you can integrate with ticketing systems such as Autotask and ConnectWise. From the Branding tab, you can set custom branding for any particular organization or group. And from the Delete tab, you can delete an organization so long as you are not a member of it. Note that you can always jump to any view by hovering over an organization on the left-hand side, clicking the drop-down, and clicking the view that you would like to see. That about covers it for the administrative overview.